Welcome to a new video lesson. In today's lesson, I will give an analysis of Clear Light of Day by Anita Desai. So, let's begin. In my last class, I have discussed about the condition of the family and the happenings that had been around. The most important of it is the death of Raja's or Bim's mother. But what we see here is that the absence of the mother was not felt by them as the, her absence was quite normal to them because they felt that maybe she was in a club or something and she would return. Following that, Raja went dispiritedly to a Hindu college and that college was the one where Raja's father had also went. He was enrolled as a English literature he was enrolled in English literature course and he served for a week refusing even to get up and go across to Hyder Ali's in the evenings. Father their father went to the clubs again but Raja would not get up of his bed in order to mix with his friends or mix with Bhim and Tara. After a while Raja started cycling to college with Mishra boys and Raja felt that within a hunger with a hunger that she and Raja fell upon it as if it were a missing element in their lives. So, no one in the family had studied literature before. Okay, so that was a missing element in their lives that they felt. That is, she means here, beam. So, but what we see here is that the college that his father had read in and the same college is completely different now the political situation the political ideology which has been incorporated within the students the political fanaticism all this and how the politicians and fanatics from outside how they influence and infiltrate the students mind is clearly seen here what we see here is that Raja was drawn into this feverish atmosphere by curiosity and adolescent need for a cause. He was quite enthusiastic to get into the program of political agenda. He had no inkling that um, the boys felt that Raja would be a quite good recruit for it and considered the fanatic Hindu beliefs would be one to outrage and opposition. They had no inkling that Raja would be against that fanaticism. The atmosphere became very explosive and the air and the threats and the rumor of violence and enmity was completely throughout the place. So what we see here is that the dull life of this idea, this dull life of Raja, the idea that getting into a Muslim college, Muslim university, then college, would turn him up against the society, turn him, make him an odd one in the society of Hindus, has been backfired. Okay, here in this college while he is in a Hindu college this college has become the site of political activities the political activities are mainly focused on believing the Hindu ideology where so called Hindu ideology where the Hindus needs to be protected and the idea of Hinduism is equal to the idea of 
हिंदुस्तान और इंडिया सो नेचुरली इट कम्स अप फॉर देम द जिंगोस्टिक नेशनलिज्म द आइडिया ऑफ जिंगोस्टिक नेशनलिज्म व द हिंदू आइडिया इज इक्वल्स टू द आइडिया ऑफ नेशनलिज्म ओके इफ यू आर अ हिंदू यू कैन नॉट सपोर्ट पाकिस्तान दैट इज वट इज सेड इफ यू आर अ मुस्लिम यू हैव यू आर ऑलरेडी अ पाकिस्तानी दैट आइडिया इज बींग इनकॉर्पोरेटेड दो द country has not yet been divided in this situation the country has not yet been divided but the situation is such where these people are understanding the talks are going on that this country will be divided into two india and muslim majority with pakistan muslim majority will go with pakistan okay so this kind of Uh, ideology this kind of ideology which would uh, create or create two nations or divide a nation whatever you can think of the same thing whatever you do whatever you say this shows that how a person person is also fragmented this not i'm not only saying about raja he is just an example but several other people several other people are also in corporated within this ideology of hatred raja is not the person who is going to be against the muslims right but this ideology this political um, ideology of movement this political ideology of arousing people arousing enthusiastic youth of society to give them a cause is a kind of brainwashing okay this brainwashing technique is used in order to delineate or capture youths of high potential into a kind of ideology where they would be blind where where they would be blind not physically but ideologically they would not judge what has been said to them they would just follow that is brainwash whatever it is the atmosphere became very explosive with the violent ideologies he read mostly raja read mostly lord byron reading he seemed to form a picture of himself an image that beam not his college acquaintance was the first to recognize uh what we say here is that beam remembered that when she heard raja read aloud byron's the isle of greece and tell her the story of byron's fight with the greek independence and his death in greece as a hero and poet um beam murmured that like you making raja stare hard at her to see if she were mocking so what is being projected here that as if raja has been part of a community part of a cluster which would be like the place where the ideology of change will be brought in for example the isles of greeks the six lines are given here place me on the sunium's marble steep where nothing save the waves and i may hear our mutual murmur sweep there swan like let me sing and die and sla- land of slave shall never be mine dash down yon up the samayan wine whatever be it they gave a slight curl in his lip she uh, did not like it and later wondered if uh, it had put ideas into his head dangerous ones of his heroism his poetry he must have let the boys in the college know this somehow because we overheard the mishra boys call him lord byron and at times simply lord okay so they were referring raja as lord so he would be bringing change and 
whatever it is he would try to for the next section uh, says that Raja started again um, again started going to Haider Ali's house in the evenings the gatherings but one day uh, Mira Mashi um, stated his displeasure of his going there okay he she said that it isn't safe going to the house of Haider Ali's during the evenings or the evening gatherings isn't safe in return Mira Beam exclaimed in surprise they are our neighbors so but Beam sorry Aunt Mira said but Muslims it isn't safe so she whispered and trembled and said this so the religious identity becomes dominant okay so the idea of you being my neighbor you being my landlord becomes primary which were supposed to be the important things which were supposed to be the main things of this but what we find here is that um, the Muslim identity the religious identity becomes the most important okay so uh, this religious identity is not only uh, incorporated within the fa within the students within the society but has also perpetrated a person like Miramashi why I am saying uh, a person like Miramashi because in chapter 3 we will see uh, how the person is who is always caring and supportive about the children here also her support here also her care here also her concern for the children is being shown that the Muslim as the religious identity has been dominant has become dominant it is her prerogative it is her concern to protect these children from any kind of danger that might come okay another thing that we see here is that within this uh, paragraph we will see that the beginning of the end of aunt mira how um, aunt mira's life her deterioration in health she says that she asked for the uh, beam's father's brandy bottle with a drop uh, she would use a drop within uh, of within her tea and we will find in the by the end of this chapter um, that she becomes alcoholic she becomes insane she cannot be controlled without the alcohol so the beginning of this end uh, is stated here is mentioned over here because these layers of lives which are running parallel to each other will be which are, uh, which are portrayed in a way where one is interconnected with another by the time Raja would be moving out and we will find that Raja's presence will be in this house till the time when Aunt Mira is alive after Aunt Mira is gone Raja will also leave this place okay so what we see here is that um, Aunt Mira has already become addicted to alcohol which leads her to ask Beam to bring it so she asks more Miramashi more as the drops shrinked in Aunt Mira's pressing her fingers to her trembling lips nodded more more till the tumbler was full and then she seized it and drank it washed upon open mouthedly by her nieces 
So what we see here is that though she is telling about being safe and everything from the outside forces, from the outside problems of religious fanaticism, but what we see here is that she is only getting destroyed. She is destroyed from inside. Okay. This is the alcohol. This alcohol will turn her insane. That will the intoxication that the presence of the alcohol within her uh, blood will make her deteriorate her health. Okay. Whatever be it, she is careful about the children, children's lives, but she is not careful about herself. Okay, so Raja, as always, she he didn't care. He even didn't care to uh, clo open and close the gate. Rather, he jumped um, over the uh, gate, climbed and jumped over the gate. Uh, to the road and strolled into Haider Ali's garden. What he felt, uh, what he, he saw in that place, he felt a little surprised to find that the gathering has shrunk. Haider Ali, who was cool with Raja, in fact, there was something gently loving in his gesture. And he placed his arms across the boy's shoulder as he came up. Okay, so the awkwardness did not last. Glasses of the whiskey were passed around. Some poetry were quoted and soon they forgot Raja or Raja's Hindu presence. So what we see here is that um, the ideology, the ideology or the principles on which they talked were seen here not as dominant to hatred okay the the raja's hindu presence was not questioned and they picked up the subject they had dropped on seeing raja so the subject was pakistan as ever pakistan raja listened and spoke uh, as these people spoke of Gandhi, Gandhi, Nehru, Jinnah, Mountbatten, Atle, Churchill, because he knew this was not a matter in which he should express his opinion, he kept on listening. And he began to see Pakistan as they did, as a possibility very close to them, palpable and real. Okay, so these people these people in the gatherings were mostly muslims and what their idea of pakistan was that it would be a safe place for the muslims to be in because of the rising tensions in the country they thought it would be a place beneficial it would be place of safety for them and this idea was imprinted on Raja as a child with a blank slate of mind. We find that this kind of talks, this kind of um, assertions by the elders always leaves an imprint on the children. For example, uh, children like to children tend to like those film stars which are liked by their big other that is mainly their father or mother okay whom he idolizes to to a certain age up till a certain age okay so what we see here is that this thing this ideology of pakistan that is being talked about by these people in the gatherings gets imprinted on raja and uh, what is happening is that when the boys of the Hindu college found that Raja was one Hindu uh, who actually accepted the idea of Pakistan as feasible, they changed from uh, 
the charmed friends that they were into dangerous enemies and they called him a traitor so what we see here is that for raja the bigger the or the ideological acceptance happened in those uh, evening talks evening gatherings of haider ali's house where haider ali has already become the big other for him and so those ideas were uh, according to them feasible right so those ideas were easily accepted by raja as an ideological perspective Uh, but in case of these students of the friends of Raja who were reading in a Hindu college near, I think the Kashmir Gate, I think, okay, Kashmir Gate. Um, so what we find here is that in case of these students, they were charmed by the idea of one nation, or they were not in support of. giving away a part of land to the muslims so they strangely and abruptly altered when he spoke to them the of pakistan and something thing about it they turned to him and openly said him that he was a traitor so as if if anyone says anything good about um, another country who is so called supposed to be so called enemy of ours will be considered a traitor right this is what is happening but actually it is not so it should not have been thus if uh, you can always you can always praise a country's best we can always praise imran khan not about i am i am not talking about the politician nimran khan but he is bowling okay we can always is um, say the good things about about wasim akram and the bowling in attack that they had right but what we will find here is that when jingoistic nationalism comes in when jingoistic ideology is imprinted on people they lose their track they forget they forget how to appreciate the best in other people because they are typecasted as enemies right so what we see here is that the moment he is saying that the idea of pakistan is feasible even if anyone who would have uh, said that uh, in these times also he would be considered a traitor whatever be it uh, he is so through this novel actually the questions are also raised on whether you have the right to express your own views or not okay you can like uh, for example the most of our countrymen most of the indians are divided into several countries during football world cup right most of them are say for example someone supports brazil or uruguay or argentina or any other country but if our enemy nation and finds its place within the top ranks and become anything will we be able to support it that remains a question okay similarly if our country becomes uh, a country whose football fever whose football domination becomes as great as cricket will our enemy nation be able to support our country like they support brazil or argentina or italy or any other country during football world cup no this jingoistic nationalism has incorporated within us so heavily that we can we always consider this supporting as traitor as 
doing any harm to our country, becoming a traitor for our country, whatever be it. So this is what is happening. These friends uh, disclosed to him that they were members of the terrorist societies. They told him they were not giving in, in to the idea of partition of the country no matter what Gandhi or Nehru said. So Raja felt that they were not the kind of people who should be in, uh, who should be felt close with and he, he was so desirable as a member of the cause in his idealistic enthusiasm his graceful carriage his inception of heroism they wanted him they tried to pursue him they persuaded him uh, which he did not come to when he did not come to college they came to see him at his house after dark for Raja fell ill his father and his aunt were convinced that it was nothing to do with uh, the atmosphere of that of spring of threatening the advancing of violence in the air the boy actually the doctor felt over the stethoscope and ordered various tests to be carried out and saw the reports and said it was nothing so mental or emotional okay so first of all they thought that it might be something um, going around with the violent condition that is present within the college or elsewhere the boy had become infected with tuberculosis that is said by the doctor okay aunt mira uh, was surprised like that so and bim was very concerned about it but they say that the boy lives a healthy life he drinks milk eats eggs meats he stammer uh, she stammered beginning to shred the end of the sari with her hands whatever be it what we see here is that anmira is very much concerned still very much concerned about uh, raja's health okay whom all the children have been brought up by aunt mira even in the presence of even before uh, the death of their mother we will see that in the chapter 3 whatever so the doctor said that it is not up to the healthy eating habits but it could be picked up uh, he could have picked up a germ while drinking tea from a dirty cup or any so using a soil towel or something somewhere but anywhere it is TB Raja too was uh, feeling ill and he ha raised his head for a while um, the parents no, the parents actually uh, Aunt Mira and Beam allowed the college boys to visit him okay and they tried to cheer him up they tried TB not at all uh, it might be some heat fever or something they also uh, told him to get Raja well soon and he would hide it and they would show him where they hide their guns daggers and where they exercise and practice why are they after Raja they have seen in Raja the enthusiasm um, the idea of heroism which they uh, preferred in young recruits they have seen that but Raja was not at all willing to be a party to them to be a part of them he was too weak to say a much and was dizzy too but when the thought of Haider Ali Haider Ali's library his begum, his daughter came up to him he embroidered in the thought of that he was of belief that these people will be doing harm to the society more than it 
he could only say he was teared up with weakness and frustration he told them i will tell the police that they are planning to do harms to the society okay and in return they were so taken aback they said that we will inform the police about you you are more dangerous to india than we are you are a traitor so it is very easy for a person to be leveled a traitor and we should be stuck uh, to his name with very ardently with very enthusiasm and the society or the political connections or any affiliated political institution or the rulers of the uh, country to say directly would take very interest in that because no country no government wishes to have a traitor in them within them so the idea the top the level of incorporating the accusation of traitor is very easy to be leveled in leveled on a person and it sticks quite for some time and it sticks very deep so that has that has happened with raja also because this so plain clothes policeman began began to uh, hover around their gate uh, from 6 in the evening to 6 in the morning because he was considered to be a muslim sympathizer perhaps they had made him to be a pakistani spy this accusation of sedition or traitor being a traitor is very heavy it might not pass on with time it sticks deep so this has put uh they have put a label on him and for that plain clothes policeman was there so what is being said here is that that beam peered through the bamboo screen of the door and she thought it might be someone planning a burglary okay but um uh, when he when raja woke she told him that he realized uh, once that the terrorist friend had warned the police that he was a muslim sympathizer for a moment he was thrilled he saw himself as fighting for haider ali brandishing a sword and everything but he was left weak and trembling he confessed to him that he was afraid and what will they do who oh, if their house is attacked he muttered who will protect them the police or on do they are afraid of the mob okay so this ideology has been imprinted where people like a uh, raja people like um, haider ali people like anyone who would sympathize with the section of the society who are trans transferred or uprooted from their existence or the minority for instance who will sympathize with them will be put into question okay so bim tried to assure him that he wanted uh, to talk not to listen to her he talked of haider ali of begum the daughter their daughter the young benazir he asked beam questions about her but beam hardly knew her or at all so what we see here is that the whole country is stuck with a fever the fever of riot the fever of fanaticism political fanaticism the fever of destruction and on the other hand who is supposed to be a hero who is supposed to who wants to help haider ali is now bedridden 
ओके ही इज़ अ पर्सन हु विल नॉट बी एबल टू सपोर्ट हिम हु विल नॉट बी एबल टू प्रोटेक्ट दैम एंड दिस आयरनिक डिफरेंस इज शोन हियर दैट नो वन इज अ हीरो ओके सो द सोसाइटी इज डिटोरिएटिंग सो इज द हेल्थ ऑफ राजा इज ऑल्सो डिटोरिएटिंग वट शी सेज दैट शी डज नॉट कम टू स्कूल एनी मोर बीम से इज ट्राइंग टू फाइंड समथिंग टू से नान ऑफ द मुस्लिम गर्ल्स कम एनी मोर हर पेरेंट्स मस्ट है मस्ट बी एफ्रेड टू सेंड हर आउट ऑफ द हाउस आई विश आई कुड गो एंड सी हर सो वट वी सी हियर इज दैट दिस आइडिया of the deterioration of the society this idea of society's um deterioration this idea of the society being fragmented has led this family also into deterioration they are in constant the they are constantly under observation where Raja wants to help the the her his big other his the family of the big other but what he is bound to he is bound within a situation where he is not being able to help and this will turn into a guilt and this will turn into the fall the break up the fracture of the family okay this guilt of raja not being able to help haider ali's family in this situation of crisis where the family will be attacked and everything this guilt of unable to help them due to his tb um, will force him will lead him to help them out during this after uh, he has recovered okay so he says that there will he wants to help them but he is unable to do so he he is cursing the tb the doctor says that this could be a wet towel or dirty towel or a dirty tea cup or anything dirty towel dirty tea cup when he ought to be out in the streets fighting the mobs saving haider ali and benazir so he consider himself to be a person who will be there to save the uh, ali family who will be there to save them who is be gather for him but he will he is unable to do so beam is trying to control him beam is trying to put everything into place so that raja uh, is not depressed but nothing goes according to it he hoped that like byron to go to rescue of those in peril instead like byron he lay ill so what we see here is that there is a constant uh interpolation of the poems the poems which clearly hint with the poems which uh, clearly hint the social position of the people the it comments on the situation the isles of greece portrays how the hero would be there to save and fight for the society fight for the things they believe in but here raja is who hopes like byron to go to rescue uh, during the peril but instead he is lying he laid ill and dying like byron himself as byron was not able to do outstand outstanding jobs um, to help anyone out and everything i'm not 
willing to digress o over here but similarly what we see here is that similarly like Byron who would write something who would do something through his words but would not do anything physically similar condition is imposed similar condition is seen in Raja though he wants to bring in change he wants to defend he is unable to do so ok let's end it here today um, next class we will deal with the next sections most important section where the passing of time uh, and the actions that are happening in the house will be said as which are more or less same over and over again that will be dealt with moreover um, we will be dealing with um, the affair the love affair of Tara that will be a uh, brimming uh, and how Tara would <coughs> move out of the house and we will um, discuss we will get about Baba's existence let's see how far we can do in the next section next lecture so thank you for listening um, we'll continue this in next class thank you